what's going on you guys welcome back to my channel and if you are new you've never seen my face before hi my name is ash and this is my channel living ash so before i get to filming the rest of the video i am going to just show you guys my quick skincare routine using products from tula skincare lately i've been struggling with some you know blemishes and scarring from you know little bumps that i would get here and there and i've always had that problem so i've been going back and forth on what products i want to use and what products are going to work best to really get rid of like the discoloration and things like that on my skin i was super excited to finally have a huge facial cleanser because i ran out of my other one so this is the one i've been using lately this is the cult classic purifying face cleanser from tula skincare i'm just going to use this and cleanse my skin i really like this because the consistency is really nice it's not too oily uh, my skin and oily <laughs> oily skin so i've been using it i really like the way this feels on my face afterwards my face has such a pretty glow to it My problem areas are really like my cheeks, so that's where I kind of like try to focus when I'm doing my skincare. What I love about Tula is that they focus on the skin being healthy and not perfect. And I think that's something that I have been focusing on in my life is not trying to make my skin look perfect because it's never going to be, but making sure it's healthy and glowing, you know? One thing I love about my face after I'm done washing it, I'm like... Do I even want to put on makeup? Because I feel like my skin looks so good. The next thing I'm going to be using is the Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. Under eyes are a big thing for me. Like, I don't want dark circles. So, I just want to make sure that my under eyes moisturize and hydrate at all times. Especially because I do wear makeup. And putting concealer under my eyes actually causes creasing in the makeup. So, once the eye balm is on and my under eye is hydrated. Okay. The creasing be gone okay <laughs> but yeah i love to put this right here under my eye and it just literally it brightens everything up like okay <laughs> and what's super cool about this you can also apply it after your makeup's done for a little pick me up throughout the day also tula products are cruelty free so they're never tested on animals and i'm going to be using the purifying and ph balancing toner pads i never used to use toner okay and i was always like around people who would use it and i was like do i need that no like toner just added a whole new <laughs> level to my skincare routine okay i never really used to focus on that before but um that's a focus now and lastly my favorite part of every skincare routine is moisturizer i'm gonna be using the 24 7 moisture hydrating day and night cream like it says you can use it during the day and at night oh this feels so good Look at that. Look at my skin. I haven't had a full skincare routine in a while. Like, I've really just been keeping it super basic. So, thank you so much, Tula, for sponsoring today's video. I actually have a discount code for you guys so that you can use to get your <laughs> money off getting some Tula products because we all love that over here on this channel. The code is super easy. You get 15% off. It is code LIVINGASH, okay, for 15% off your Tula skincare purchase. And if you didn't know, Tula.com offers free shipping on orders $40 and over. And also free returns on anything you're not 100% in love with. I'm ready to go put my makeup on and film the rest of this video. Thank you so much to Tula Skincare for sponsoring this portion of the video. And let's get into it. You guys, I just finished doing my makeup. I need to get my hair done. I've been feeling so tired lately. And I've been trying so many different skincare products. So I'm so grateful for Tula for sponsoring today's video because i just been loving their products so much. But I am going to Walmart. So I did a big order on Walmart and I want to go ahead and pick up my stuff. I didn't even want it to be an in-store pickup. I thought it was going to be um, a delivery order. And I did get something delivered today. I'll put the little TikTok that I did here on the side of the screen. I got an order from Walmart and I got some soft soap. So I'm going to show you that before I leave. Um, but I'm going to take you guys to Walmart with me. I'm going to take you to Sephora with me just to see um, and some other stores too. So just be along for the ride. And uh, yeah, we'll just be casually shopping together like we always do, you know, kind of like you and I on FaceTime. Uh, that's kind of like how I like I like that. Like I like that type of vibe where, you know, it's just you and I. It's not like a crazy production. I just can't go shopping with all of you guys. I mean, I can, but you guys don't all live here. So, yeah. <laughs> So I wanted to show you guys my perfumes and the fragrance combo that I'm going to be wearing. In one of the Facebook groups I am in, I saw that someone said that Killian's Angel Share 
really pairs well with Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. So I'm going to be wearing this fragrance combo today to see how it goes. Here it is, Angel Share. I love Killian perfumes. So this is gonna be my combo and I'm gonna see if it lasts. Someone commented on the post saying that it lasts 12 hours. That's a long time, a long time. Now, if my camera was um, charged, I would've did it on that, but here it is, we're layering these two. So this is supposedly like a gourmand fragrance. They're kind of both gourmand in a sense, like this is more like marshmallowy notes. And I think this one had, oh, I forgot. I'll put the notes on the screen. I forgot the main note that I, I don't know if there's cinnamon in this, but Angel Share is really good. I didn't get the hype at first. Uh, and yes, I'm a team over sprayer, but yeah. So that is Angel Share. And then I'm gonna add Love Don't Be Shy just to see how it is. Hopefully, maybe I'll get compliments, but not really go too close to people when I'm in the store. So uh, yeah. These are the two. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys are wearing today and, uh, you know, what's up with you. This past weekend, I went to Atlanta and I found this in Lenox Square Mall. This is the Sweet Diamond Pink Pepper 25 by Kaali. It's my newest Kaali perfume. This I probably would have had to order online, but I managed to get it in store and I picked it up. I had to get it. Now, this was about $100, which is a little bit more expensive, and it's not even the big bottle, but I think this bottle is so pretty. It doesn't go with this vibe here because, I mean, I go with blacks, whites, and golds, but uh, I do really like Kaali fragrances, so I did pick this up, and I wanted to show you guys. And lastly, I went a little crazy with some new Tatcha treasures. Okay, these are the mini treasures. I found more in a TJ Maxx that I went to yesterday. And the price is freaking phenomenal. $39. You're kidding. Okay, what? So I'm pretty much set on Tatcha stuff. This one's $29. Like I tell you guys all the time, the Tatcha lip mask itself is $28. So for me to get all of these for that price this is what you call a steal this is what you call why ass shops at tj maxx and marshall's oh dang i just got a box let's see what's inside oh i just got my box from teddy blake new york i'm so excited about this i'm gonna be doing a what's in my bag video on my blog channel so um yeah wow I guess I'll save that for you guys over there. But go subscribe to The Ash Life. I'm going to be doing a What's in My Bag video. Uh, Teddy Blake sent this over to me, so I'm excited. So this was the order I got in from Walmart. And I was going to go to the store and pick them up. But since uh, you know I could make an online order, I did. But this is it, okay? I am obsessed with this. Um, I actually just threw it away. Oh, <clears throat> showing you guys the trash, but it's in there. Uh, I just finished the one that I showed you guys that I liked in like one of my last shop with me videos. So this is the oat milk and comforting vanilla. It smells so fresh. And when I think about a scent that lingers out of the shower, that means when you're done, this is what I'm going for. So I picked up three. I really, really like them. I ordered them last night and they came this morning. So you guys, please try it out. I wouldn't buy three more. <laughs> If I didn't feel like, you know, it was, you know, not good. So this is a hypoallergenic body wash. Listen, I don't know. That stuff to me, I don't have sensitive skin, but the scent is to die for. So if I see it in Walmart today, I'll show you guys. But if not, this is it right here for your information. All right, just pulled up to Walmart. This location was a bit farther away from my house. Um, I don't think I've ever been to this one before, but I do have a curbside pickup order. But um, I don't know, guys. I'm just going to see if I can get it in store, but I probably, I'm going to have to probably get it in my car, I guess. All right, I'm inside right now. Somehow I managed to get the loudest part in the store. Literally the loudest. I haven't seen these before. The length retention deep conditioner and then this one is new. Hair plus scalp oil. Hmm, and a leave-in conditioner. That's interesting. There's literally a bunch of Dr. Teal stuff right here. I'm looking for a vanilla scented one though, but I haven't been able to see that one at all. 
we're over by the body wash and i don't see anything everything is pretty much sold out in here guys it's kind of crazy but the only thing that's really catching my eye is this age embrace this is the uh pre-cleanse shower butter um and they have like some of the dove body wash here but oh this is the fiji night I ordered this already though so I'm not gonna go ahead and pick it up but I did order this and it's kind of open I see but this is the last one but this is one of the newer soft soap body washes that I saw they look like they're completely out of the oat and vanilla wash that I was looking for um good thing I ordered some because I really needed that mm. this Eucerin body wash looks really good if you do have sensitive skin and I also am seeing this right here. I wonder if this is new. This is the uh, Citrus Ginger Sunrise from Suave. But otherwise, everything looks pretty similar to the last time I came to Walmart. Uh, but I've really just been looking for the um, soft soap. What I really love are the Dove. These right here for the men. I love these. And look at this, guys. This one looks so cool. This is the Caribbean Chill Coconut and Eucalyptus. This looks so good. Yes. I feel like the packaging oh my gosh look at these soaps from olay these are so pretty they're very luxurious they have jasmine hibiscus orange blossom they also have some dr teals these are the um hand washes i really like these but the olay is really my favorite i've never seen these from soft soap these look so nice this is the country meadows smoky warmth and this is pure air very new these are definitely new i've never ever seen these this one looks so pretty soft soap has really been killing it lately in terms of their stuff this warm vanilla and coconut milk soap looks so good this is actually brand new and they also have this one right here coconut hibiscus they have gentle clean and lavender and shea there are still some dove hand sanitizer wipes so if you guys are wanting these get them now guys because you're gonna want these okay um but anyways mm, i don't want any of these okay so it doesn't look like they have the melatonin sleep spray over here but i hope that they have it for me since i already paid for it um but these are all the dr teal's products that they do have they have this right here and i finished the one that i have so i'm probably just gonna pick this up because i feel like this is really good especially if i want to sleep and, and if i do get the sleep spray I'm gonna use this. They don't have any of the new tree head scrubs here, I noticed, but um, they have one Love Beauty and Planet. This is a, oh, it's for your hair. Yeah, there's some body butter for your hair. But yeah, that's really it. They have uh, the Moroccan Rose, Coconut Cubata, Coconut Lime, Watermelon, and Vitamin C. Okay, so I'm in the line now to see if I can pick up my order. Hopefully, uh, this is where it's at okay i just left out of walmart because apparently i have to get in my car to uh pick up my order which is fine it's at curbside anyway but i was just gonna see if i could get it in store but hopefully they have my order and um i've been looking for this one particular item for a very long time so i'm very excited right now beyond <laughs> thank you so You're much <sighs> I got it! <laughs> Woohoo! Wait, let me see some. Hold on. I'm kind of trying this little car tripod thing. It'll make it like a little U turn. And it's so cheap. I got it for like $3 at Target. And it's so annoying. And it slips and slides. But I'm just going to show you guys real quick the Dr. Teal sleep spray that I've been searching for for the longest, you guys. I've been literally searching for it. And yes, my seatbelt is on. My seatbelt is on. I see it put it there. But. Oh my gosh, I'm about to stop and show you guys really fast because I'm so excited. Okay, so here they are right here with the car in park. So this is it. This is the Dr. Teal's sleep spray with melatonin and essential oils. Now, when I saw this on TikTok, so many people were like, yo, you spray this on your pillow, you're going to be knocked out. Like this person was like, I was knocked out for days. And the way that they just described it, had me in a frenzy i had to get this and i couldn't find it anywhere now i have to say these are some really big bottles i feel like the ones that i saw were kind of smaller than this but it says that um it has it 
you know lavender and chamomile essential oils to help promote a better night's sleep um it's a multi-purpose sleep spray at bedtime and it can be used four different ways in the shower on pillows and bedding on your body and in the bedroom okay so that's cool just spraying it around the room um this is the top kind of does this i'm not about to spray it in the car right now because um that would be bad if it made me sleepy in the car so no but yeah this is a dr teal's sleep spray so i will link it below if you can't get it i'm sorry hopefully it'll come in stock somewhere near you but uh i'm gonna try this out and i will update you guys whether it's on tiktok or here i don't know but i'm gonna try it out tonight i'm excited for bedtime it's about oh my god it's five o'clock already dang time flies wow but you guys see it ah i got two because i was like but like as i showed you guys it wasn't in the store so i wasn't able to get it in the store i think by the time you know i ordered it last night and they said there were like five in stock so people already picked it up so it's that viral so yes i finally got this and that was it for the walmart shop with me you guys i didn't really go to shop i went to pick this up but i was like let me take you guys along just to show you what i see just a little bit and i am gonna treat myself today i have been feeling really low and tired today i woke up and i was like feeling really low i just went on a trip to atlanta and i was like coming back home and it's what tuesday now and just getting back in the swing of things so i'm gonna treat myself and i'm gonna take you guys along so i'll see you guys at the next stop and uh yeah really happy this just made my whole day okay so i just realized walmart's over there and there is a marshall's right next door so i'm gonna actually head into marshall's just really quick just to see if there's anything cool uh yeah I've been using this in the shower and I feel like it's been doing well for my skin but you know I've just been trying it out but I did purchase it in here but a lot of things are in here they have the hand sanitizing gel from Nest oh they have the Jergens ultra healing body cream um, some Mario Badescu I've been seeing a lot of Mario Badescu J.R. Watkins these bar soaps look like they're so good. I just haven't picked them up. I don't know why. I haven't tried the Nivea bar soaps yet. And I also am seeing this right here, which doesn't smell the, like it smells okay. It's just not good enough for me to buy, but the packaging looks so cute. It looks so fresh and clean. Um, and this, what is this? This almost looks like a shower oil, but it isn't. I don't know, it's a bath elixir. I'm not sure what that means, but they have several. Oh, they have some of the Shea Moisture body wash showing up in here. This is also a really good one too. I'm thinking this is a good buy, but it's still $10. So I don't really need this. I haven't been using Philosophy body wash as much as I used to. But that's really all that catches my eye. They got the vanilla birthday cake, but they usually always have these things in here. It's usually a good day when I see some different perfumes in Marshalls, but they have this field of flowers from Philosophy, which is only $20, which is good. They have Ariana Grande Moonlight, some things like the Pink Sugar Body Mist. got cut really short okay they didn't have anything in there that i would have bought i just i don't know i was looking for like different perfumes but i'm happy that i went to look the next stop is gonna be sephora and food food and sephora <laughs> okay i am at another mall and i'm gonna go ahead and go to sephora um i'm gonna actually walk through tj maxx because it's right here but i'm just gonna show you guys what i'm gonna pick up in sephora and uh, probably just do a quick haul or a little walkthrough and then a haul or something like that. I'm in TJ Maxx right now and I just wanted to show you some of the things that I feel like I'm more interested in. I really like this tree hut. This is the Brazilian Nut Body Wash. And they also have some Love Beauty and Planet and this one's the Sun Kiss Glow with Turmeric and Tonka Essence which 
oh my goodness this one is probably one that i would get if i were gonna buy any they have a lot of myers body wash and oh yeah these definitely caught my eye they have the nivea in shower body lotion this one looks like it smells so good this is the shea butter scent and this is only $3.99 which isn't bad at all um, if you do like the in shower body lotions I really like that it's like a really nice addition to your shower routine but as far as everything over here I don't really see anything that I really would necessarily want hmm no not really oh yeah hemp's of course but those scents oh yeah I always go for this one right here this is the triple moisture this one smells so fresh that's my favorite one lucky for us we found some more tatcha products i haven't seen this casing since i've been buying these actually but i have so many right now so i'm not gonna buy that one i'm actually really surprised no one picked this up but this is such a good deal like i told you guys the lip mask is normally 28 so for this to be 29 for this whole thing is perfect so there's three here so this is sawgrass mall location so maybe one of you guys can pick it up and get really lucky they also have a mario badescu body kit which looks really good okay so it looks like they have more tatcha in here but they locked this one up which i don't understand why they would lock this one up it's the same thing as the other one over there but what's this Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to get this fragrance layering kit. I love the Ellis Brooklyn fragrances, so I don't have these, so I'm definitely picking this up. But um, they have these eye things from Clinique, but I'm definitely getting this right here. Oh, wow, they have the, the Mix Bar sets in here. Mix Bar is a really good fragrance brand. I have everything from Mix Bar, so I'm not gonna pick this up, but this is a great, great find. Mix Bar has been making its way into different TJ Maxx locations, so I would highly recommend that. This is the Dolce & Gabbana, the one. Oh shoot, they have the Intense. This is good. A lot of people are telling me about this one uh, because it does smell like marshmallows. So they have, they have a good week this week. There's a lot of good perfume. I'm really happy so i'm gonna definitely pick up that alice brooklyn one right there they have the angel muse which i have um I'm trying to look they have pacifica this is the cherry moon scent anything else that i'm interested in not really from right here but this is a really really good um choice if you guys see any of these on this side more dolce and gabbana but this is the regular this is the poor femme um they have this burberry for women here eau de parfum they have another hermes this is a great price only 49 i think when i got it it was like 59 which is just a phenomenal price i'm just impressed with this cj max i usually find a lot of my uh fragrances in here they always have some really really good ones they have this Hugo Boss one for 16. Hey, I am walking into Sephora now. <sighs> really trying to get in there. I am ready to get this stuff and go eat some sushi. I've been craving sushi. Let me know if you guys like sushi and what your favorite kind of sushi is because I haven't been eating it much lately, but <laughs> I really like sushi. Necessary body wash. getting some sushi i believe this is some sort of like tuna roll which is so good um i'm so excited i got my spicy mayo my ginger i don't like wasabi but i have red bull guilty pleasure but i'm having two different rolls super super good 
this is my treat of the day and i really love this place where i get the sushi from because you just grab it and go Okay guys, so last time you guys saw me, I was eating sushi in the mall. I've been wilding lately when it comes to food. I'm back on it today, I swear. I'm telling you, because I cannot eat like that anymore. I'm already seeing the definition and my stomach kind of fading away. So that was my little off day. I got to eat whatever I wanted, but I'm back on it. But I want to just show you guys a quick little haul of everything that I've been buying and give you guys kind of like my take on some of these new things. I think the first thing I'm going to start off with was the thing that I was talking to you guys earlier in the video, which was the Dr. Teal's sleep spray. So I used it last night. Um, and I'm not going to say it didn't work and I'm not going to say it does work because I feel like I need to use it again but I definitely wasn't knocked out in two seconds like a lot of people said and I definitely feel like um I had to do my same type of like sleep ritual which is like get off the phone so I can't necessarily say that it was like a miracle type of thing but I'm gonna try it again uh tonight and if I have more updates I will let you guys know but I am really happy that I got my hands on it so that is my little take on the Dr. Shields sleeping spray so now let me tell you something sephora right i wanted to go out yesterday to go to sephora because i saw a tiktok and with me and tiktok tiktok makes me buy everything um it's not very good <laughs> but i wanted to try out this new setting spray this is the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray i've been hearing so many things about this setting spray now i normally use the milk makeup setting spray but now you know charlotte tilbury uh is pretty big now and it's pretty um you know well known and i'm hearing the products are one they're really pricey but two they're really really good quality so this i used on my face today i haven't worn a mask yet but i'm hearing that the transfer uh is really really like minimal with that so when you're wearing a mask you're not going to really have a, a crazy amount of transfer now i don't know yet i'm gonna see but this is part of the haul so i saw this on tiktok so i got it and i also have been obsessed with minis lately so i picked up the burberry her collection um in the minis i got the it comes with the london dream it comes with the eau de toilette and the eau de parfum so burberry minis they're very cute um and i like them i like having minis if i can do like a video about minis i don't know if you guys would be interested in that but if you are let me know um i would show you my minis collection and i did do something on my instagram story yesterday so if you're not following me on ig i do little things like that here and there so you can follow me at ash220 underscore but i did pick these up from sephora and i am trying out these this new foundation this is from nars i've been hearing so many people talk about the nars light reflecting foundation now it's crazy i have it on today and i felt like it was probably like a little red but i'm gonna see i'm gonna i'm just i like to wear my foundation for like a day or two kind of like see how it is on my skin i did mix it with my Too faced foundation but this is in the shade uh caracas i think um and i did the sephora fine shade thing in the store but this has been overhyped on tiktok and i don't mean overhyped it's been hyped on tiktok so that's why i went ahead and picked it up and i'm trying it today but what I really went in there for uh, that got me to go, it was the necessary deodorant. I've been hearing so many people talk about it. Now, you know me, I have a very uh, well-known video here on YouTube, which is how to get rid of armpit odor. And I got to do like a part three of that video because I have so many different products that I found out about. Um, but the necessary deodorant gel. Now, if you are a very sweaty person like me, I don't know if this is like the best option only because it is a wet deodorant. Like I want something a little bit more dry under my underarms, but I believe this is aluminum free. I'm not sure, but it is uh, a eucalyptus scent. I'm not sure if this is aluminum free. It doesn't say it on the box, but a lot of people have raved about this. Even in Sephora, they told me this was a really good pick. So I did pick it up. I I wanted to see uh if it would work i used it last night i mean i don't really sweat at night so i can't really give you like the best review but i did want to show you that i picked it up and i will be trying it out so maybe in my part three video of how to get rid of armpit odor i will let you guys know if it's any good 
and this Akaja lip gloss here if you guys are able to find it if you see it pick it up you gotta get it this is the glowy lip balm oil it's the vacay shine I haven't used it on my lips just yet because um, I just got it yesterday but I saw it online and I really wanted it so yes I saw this online and it is so pretty I think the packaging is what drew me I'm a big fan of Kaja um, lip gloss and um, their lip products so when I saw this one it's in the shade 01 beachy nude I only saw one when I went to the store yesterday but you know it is so pretty it has like almost like a rainbow ombre effect on the top it's such a pretty lip gloss so if you see it um living ash recommended it to you now let's talk about something super exciting i want to talk about the new tree hut scrub so if you don't know tree hut released some new scrubs i think they've been doing really well with new releases lately and i went ahead and got them of course because i do collect the tree hut scrubs i do use them i do like them this is the tree hut candied lemon which i think is going to be my favorite the candied lemon smells so good it smells like a nice lemony treat in my opinion it's not like a crazy tart lemon i feel like but i did make an online order and then i also did purchase in store because why not i wanted to get at least two of each so that i had them on deck i do like the candy lemon a lot it smells so good this kind of reminds me of like a candle from bath and body works that i would have loved this is like the perfect candied lemon scent and i also went ahead and picked up the pineapple pineapple is very good however it is a very strong pineapple scent and i do feel like it's not too artificial like i feel like it, it's pretty accurate to what an actual pineapple smells like so i I don't know I like it I like it you guys I do like these two I think they did really well with these these are perfect I feel like they're more perfect for summer if anything but you guys can find them they are available I believe now at Ulta Beauty and I'm not sure if they're at Target but Tree Hut has new scrubs so I did pick up uh, two of each scent because I really like this and I think this is gonna be like my summer go-to very refreshing light body scrub now I went to TJ Maxx as you guys saw in the video and I saw this Ellis Brooklyn so you guys know I've been picking up a lot of products from Ellis Brooklyn and I do feel that this is a great buy especially if you are looking to try them out because Ellis Brooklyn fragrances are not cheap they are over like a hundred dollars per bottle so for me to get this this is the Ellis Brooklyn fragrance layering kit it comes with myth fawn and uh our rose i believe and it has palo santo patchouli tonka bean this was only 12.99 and it comes with um all the little i guess samples i want to open it to see what it looks like but i didn't i don't know i want to see what you're actually getting on the inside just in case any of you try to buy it and you just want to know what it looks like oh wow so actually it comes with six different scents so when you open it it looks like this you have six scents you have the myth the fun the uh our rose tonka bean patchouli and palo santo so this is so cool and this is perfect this is so perfect i love little travel sizes um it says play fragrance like music by mixing accords with notes so this was a great tj maxx find so if you guys do go to tj maxx soon look out for this oh this is another tiktok made me buy type of vibe i've been hearing about this dolce and cabana the one and i found the eau de parfum for 49 dollars in tj maxx so i am going to be smelling this i want to see if i'm going to like this because i've seen i think i saw jackie Ina. i saw a few people i i don't know i don't want to say who never mind because i don't know i i saw it on tiktok somewhere you know tiktok like you just scroll you see something you're like oh like a lot of people were talking about this so I am really excited because I know they still sell this at Sephora and it's not 50 bucks in Sephora for sure. So this is the bottle. It is very luxe. It's pretty um, and I hope that I like it. You can see it here. Dolce & Gabbana, the one. I will go ahead and put notes on the screen for you guys because there's a specific note in here that I did hear, you know, that was really good with this perfume. But it is, it is really nice. I really like it. Ooh. Hmm, it's nice. I do get a strong note of alcohol though. Right off the bat but it does start to like dry down and smell better but i do like it and this bottle perfect this was a you know you know when you're shopping in the store and then someone ends up liking something that you've been kind of like oh like i've been hesitant to get uh this lady was like i'm getting this perfume it's so good and i was just watching her and i was like are you sure it's good and she's like girl it's good so uh, you know me i'm gonna buy it i'm gonna buy it so i can tell my babies on youtube and tiktok and instagram if it's good or not um but i don't know because i didn't smell it but this is called field of flowers it says stop and smell the flowers 
if you guys don't know i'm not huge on floral fragrances that much like rose i should say i could do floral but not rose but this is from philosophy i do collect the philosophy perfumes um and this is uh 12 dollars at tj maxx on clearance and i thought this was perfect because i feel like 20 dollars when i saw it wasn't too bad but you know i'm gonna try it and i'm gonna let you guys know right now if i should take the opinions of others while i'm shopping or if i should just not do you know i don't know if i should just not do that again so i'm gonna let you guys know right now right here uh not necessarily live for you but um live for me <laughs> one okay this bottle is very pretty this is very different i've never seen a philosophy perfume like this um again this is the eau de toilette spray it's supposed to be a peony blossom and i love peony in fragrances i think peony was first brought to my attention when it came to bath and body works like because bath and body works has like one of the best peony lotions but i want to show you guys the way the bottle looks close up this is very different for philosophy i feel like i've just never seen that before i think that you know most of the bottles are like a more glass transparent type of look but this is you know just a plain white bottle so i'm gonna go ahead and spray that on my wrist right here and give you guys my first impression it is really nice i like it i like I, I like it it's not like a oh like a you know like you know me i'm gonna give you guys my real my real raw reaction but it is really pretty i think i'm getting more so daytime everyday refresh type of spray i don't think this is like girl this is your showstopper perfume no this is like i can keep this in my car and just when i want to get a little nice scent on me i would definitely wear this would i buy it again for 12 dollars? yeah 12 dollars is a great deal for this um especially if you like florals it smells it's a very pretty fragrance it's very very pretty um but it's not like a crazy heavy hitter fragrance no but it's it's pretty i give it eight out of ten I don't know if I got to talk to you guys about this, but I'll just briefly mention it. Glade has this limited edition cotton cloud dream. It has notes of airy clouds and cotton. I love cotton. I like linen. You know me. Just I'm not even going to say it. This smells so good. This is so good. Like, please, please. If you can go get it. Mm. This is like freshness. Um oh this is so 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 good if you know see all and cotton from bath and body works this is reminding me of that if see all and cotton came out in like a room spray which they probably do have it in a room spray this is what it's reminding me of it is so good and i did pick up three because it's it's that good please please get backups of this i love this and i am a partner with pacifica beauty and they send me like their new stuff i love pacifica um, and they have two new perfumes that are out. One is called Sunrise Moon and the other one is Neon Moon. They are very, very nice. These two, they do smell really nice. I did promote them on TikTok and just show you guys um, a little bit earlier. I think they're available in Target and it's also available on Ulta Beauty and Pacifica Beauty's outcome. So I wanted to show you these. I did receive these in PR from Pacifica Beauty. So if you are a Pacifica fan, baby, they got some new perfumes for you okay but that is pretty much it for the haul i believe that that's everything i know i probably showed you my new k Ali in the beginning the this is a sweet diamond uh pink pepper 25 love it and i also you know stocked up on my tatcha beauty stuff because um they're at tj maxx now you guys saw i showed you guys so i'm trying to put you on to things when i see them um i'm really grateful thank you so much to Liz skincare for sponsoring today's video um i love you guys so very much and i'm looking forward to like posting some different content on here maybe more so like get ready with me so when it comes to like what fragrance i'm wearing for the day please let me know what you guys want to see i'm always reading the comments and looking out and looking forward to what you guys have to say today's a new day so i have a different scent of the day i'm wearing the ellis brooklyn raven eau de parfum and and I'm actually layering it with the Maison Francis Kirk Dijon Paris Amorous Femme. So I smell very strong. Um, this is pretty overpowering, I feel. But this, I feel like, goes well. So I don't know. I feel like both of them just blended really well. So that's what I'm wearing. I've got to get Baccarat Rouge 540. But I am one of the girls that just don't get it yet. I don't know why and I want to so bad. But I think it's going to be one of those things where I just buy it. And then it's going to work for me, you know? but that is it i wish i could sit on here and talk all day i honestly would if youtube was alive because i've been live on tiktok before and i just go on and on but that's it 
for this video i love you guys so very much and um keep going keep pushing today's a new day do something today that's going to benefit you tomorrow because i say this all the time but it's something that i feel so strongly about and i live by that every single day and we're almost at 70k you guys um i think right now we are currently at let's see 66k and we're almost to 67k so let's get to 100k this year guys let's do it i'm almost 100k on tiktok it's a good it's a good life guys so i'm grateful for you guys so go follow me on tiktok instagram uh, everything's down below in the description and i will see you guys in the next video bye guys